Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As I said in my last video, uh, a couple hours ago at the time of recording this, there are a record number of both bugs being reported right now in the game, in Battlegrounds, etc. And forum posts addressing them. Well the good news is, forum posts can only exist if Kabam doesn't delete them. And if a link is active, that's because Kabam hasn't deleted it yet, so there's that. Uh, the bad news is that a lot of these um, forum posts just involve beyond bizarre situations. And this Alliance War rating strange numbers post goes uh, directly with what some of you have told me is just a very confusing time for your Alliance right now given the war numbers. So, let's check out uh, what started this whole post. I never put a number to it, I'm only stating that the alliances that lost have a larger hill to climb back up to where they were and those that won have a superficial buffer because of it now. If an alliance is on the cuff, the cuff of tiers and typically bounce between two tiers, if they lost the first one dropping them out of a higher tier, it'll be near impossible for them to catch up to those that won and jump them. So definitely not 50% of alliances that would impact. So Zuffy says, we lost the first war that is minus 32 points. The last two wars we won has been 24 points combined. Look, looks like we'll win this fourth war today, so that is another 10 points. In total, if you win three wars to make up the lost points from the first loss, this is not right. Which is actually one of the big complaints with Battleground scoring too, is that let's say you lose by, I don't know, less than a thousand points in a Battlegrounds fight that goes three rounds, where you still drop the same amount of points as if you just get absolutely destroyed by somebody. So, I don't know what to tell you. That's um, it's pretty wild. So, the main alliances are armored with this error. No matter how much we win wars, the points are so low that we cannot raise the multiplier, and they lose so few points that it does not affect them either. Before, it took three or four wars, one, to change degrees. Today, not even with six, you can change the grade. So, as you can imagine, this is a really big point of contention. My alliance keeps dropping and rating while winning haven't lost yet. Or move tiers. So if you are in a high tier to start, you're good. Everyone else is screwed, Andy Bro 59 says. Speeds80 says, has anyone moved tiers? The numbers shouldn't matter as tiers just contain a certain amount of alliances. The first war was on old number system, so that was confusing. But we haven't moved tiers, and I'm seeing a few people say that they haven't either. So if you keep reading... You'll see people like Lord Smash who say haven't moved tiers even after winning four in a row. We normally bounce between 10 and 9, but stuck on 10 now. And then the man 001 says, just cancel this Alliance War season now. If the company can't handle anything, then at least they can do one thing, not to waste their customers' time and effort. So this is the first time really on this that I've seen, even though it sounds like a pretty dramatic suggestion, a fairly logical conclusion to this problem because... With the scoring changes and the, and just in general the way that it, that it's going, I feel like alliances are getting a lot more screwed than actually benefiting from this. And then you can see Gray Blue Forty Two with this post. We are affected by this as well. We lost the first war and now won three times. We currently play Silver One. There are a lot of discussions with the same topic, so probably a lot of people are affected by it. It's going on for a week now. Kabam Jacks is there an update? Now, we finally got an update. Keep scrolling down, you keep scrolling down all these July 17th posts. Uh, by the way, Lord Smasher did, did come back and said, I think the change was delivered to combat shell alliances. Now that it's exposed, some other problems, Kabam acts like a deer in the headlights, like every other time one of their improvements doesn't go well. That's just some, well, to put it mildly, that's just some shade. Alright, so, we are now on July 18th, a.k.a. Monday. We have seen no response from Kabam. And if you keep scrolling and keep scrolling, the shade comes out, the regular glasses come back, Kabam Jax steps up to the mic. Hey, Summoners. As I previously mentioned, this was brought to our attention and is something we've been investigating. The scoring system was adjusted in this Alliance War season. This was not intentional. Okay, so, if the scoring system was adjusted, and it is screwing alliances over, especially those that, like they said above, have to do three to four wins to even out the amount of points they lost, 
and it wasn't intentional, that's that's grounds for canceling the season. I'm not trying to be Mr. Negative. I'm not trying to be Mr. Drama. I'm just stating a fact. It is uh, a compromised war season. And keep in mind, I don't do war. So I don't have a dog in this fight, as they say. It just makes logical sense to me that this should happen because it's not a genuine season. It's not a, a fair season. And therefore, it's not a new norm. We have found the cause of the issue, but will not be able to implement a change until the next season. While I know this has been frustrating, please be aware that the scoring issue is affecting all alliances equally, not just yours. Now, is that actually true? Because from the posts above, it doesn't seem like it is. You all have to let me know your thoughts on that. We are going to continue to monitor the impact of this change through the season and will reconvene afterward to see what action or what further action needs to be taken care of. Uh, next post, on the one hand, you have the fact that it affects everyone, but they are ignoring the low alliances that we must win twice as many wars to go up in a category. My alliance is an example with three wins in a row. We went from grade three to two. Today, as a result of this, with four, we are not even close to going up. So our multiplier is low, and we cannot opt for better prizes, even with this effort. And on the other side, the high-level alliances are not worried about losing, because now it takes them twice as many war losses to lose their multiplier and are quietly with their positions in grade. This is by no means fair. Why not finish the season earlier, launch the solution, and have a fair season, and not lose resources in this unfair way without qualifying for better prices? So all of those are fair, literal points. I think there are certain tiers of alliances that are feeling really good right now about the changes and others at the bottom who are feeling like the rich are getting richer and the poor are truly getting poorer. Uh, as somebody who doesn't do war, like I said, I really want to see people's thoughts on this. The nice thing about a video like this is that it doesn't have the ability for Kabam to shut it down. So let me know your thoughts on this, what tier you are in, and what you think should happen personally. As a uh, objective bystander in this, I think the season should have been canceled. Kabam just wants to make more cash.